Wow, that took forever. But, time to celebrate. Woohoo, we did it. Finally at level 60. Uh, what is up everybody, it's Apex Guardian here, and today we are playing some Fliff Universe. Uh, so we finally hit level 60 on our uh, Acrobat, and we are ready to go for Ranger. So um, we're going to be doing that today. It took way longer than I thought it would, mostly because I've been very busy and unable to play. Uh, also, the grind just took a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> so, uh, first thing we gotta go to the Ranger Master, Elif. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and we're just gonna go through this super quick, except the quest. Uh, and we need to go and kill Drillers. I was gonna follow the wiki for this but the wiki seems to be based on like the old way uh, which has no mention of drillers at all um, as far as I'm aware you just uh, accept the quest and then you go and kill Rubo but uh, apparently not so they need to update their wiki definitely or make a new wiki so it's going to take a while to get the drillers. And we only need to kill 20 of them, which isn't bad, because I've killed way more than 20. But actually, apparently, we didn't kill that many. Maybe I skipped them. Only at level 1. That's weird. I was at the Elder Guards for a while, though. So, we're not going to have buffs, because my assist is sitting over at the, uh, the boss I got to kill. Um, Vanel, the Vanel Guardian or whatever, because I figured I'd need my assist for that. I remember it being very kind of difficult uh, back in the day when I used to play when I was much younger, but now I'm much older and know what I'm doing. Uh, we got the full cruiser set still and a flame bow. Uh, we got that to plus six with fire plus six and dex plus one, and then our cruiser sets at plus five. And we added dex to it and got lucky with a dex plus 4, plus we got increased attack of 4%, which is pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. Uh, and uh, the, the party we're in, I don't know why I AOE'd there. The party we're in, fortunately, has a linked attack on, lucky drop, gift box, and global attack. So that's pretty cool. Oh look, they're giving us buffs. That's nice of them. Let's just say thank you. No idea who that is, but I appreciate it so much. Let's see if we can't, nope. Uh, we just want regular. Um, I was gonna say let's AOE them, but I don't know if there's gonna be too many to, to pull here. It's kind of crowded today. But we should be good. Not much point running away from these guys because their range, as all mediums seem to be. But this should get us uh, well on our way to the 20. I don't think Vanilla's going to be a problem. <laughs> Not one bit. Let's see. Let's count. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might die. That would be <laughs> really bad. Yeah, there's really no point running. Because they, they can hit us from range. There we go. Uh, yep, I counted correctly. That is 20. Now we have to meet the Ranger Master Elif again. Uh, so this quest is very different than it used to be. Oh, uh, we also upgraded our Demals both to plus 5, which is cool. The Eric rings didn't bother yet, but eventually we will. The Mental Necklace, I don't know if I'm going to keep that or if I'm going to switch to a Gore. Uh, I guess we're going to have to see what the AOE skills as a ranger are like 
and then uh, you know figure it out then wow uh, most of those buffs we got were level 20 which is awesome oh they they are a ringmaster we got spirit fortune and protect I think that's the first time I've gotten spirit fortune and protect in Fliff universe so that's exciting uh, except this random quest now we have to go kill Rubo and okay, Rubo drops the letter uh, and then we have to go meet the Sage Kimmel, which I believe is by the Decaying Mine in Flaris. Yep. So that that's going to take a while. And then Rubo should be just, yeah, right over here by the Green Mongs and the Silica. I guess they're close to the Silica because you have to go around and over. But, yeah, that's something. I'm so excited to hit level 60, finally. <laughs> to be fair... Like, a solid day of me playing was just, like, upgrading stuff. I know I was going to make a video on it, but then I just didn't. Uh, I didn't really have... I wasn't in a good setting to make the video, because uh, obviously I, I have a couple kids. And, you know, they're doing their own thing in the background, and I, I managed to get some alone time from them today. So, I do have time to make a video on this. Thank goodness I did not want to hold off getting this to uh, Ranger another day. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this flaming bow. If we're going to bother getting it to plus 10, we might. I'm not sure what the next best bow for me would be. I'd have to look that up. And the cruiser set, I think we're going to hold on to a while. So we might go ahead and, and add more increased attack. Uh, if we can get the cards together for it. Where is Rubo? Where are you at? Oh, right there. Ah. Okay, I don't want that aggro over there to attack me. Look at that damage. And we got the letter. Now we need to head to Flaris, but I think the fastest way to get there is going to be going to St. Morning. Because if you go to World, uh, Madril, from, we need to go right there. And this is where we're going to teleport to, and it's all gone. Yeah, I, I think flying across from here is way faster than going from the town of Flaren. Because those are the gears and the cane mines like right there. Uh, I just noticed. We go to World Cabarrus. Uh, that's cool. Hopefully it's going to be a new area. It's not going to be like Shadow War and Alien and whatnot. Hopefully it's something new. Because I'm really hoping they put some new content out for the game. Just because, you know, I'm sure most people at this point that play Fly for Fun have seen it all. And new content would be amazing. Uh, I'm still on SE, uh, SEA. Uh, just because it's, uh, it's what I dumped all my time into and I don't really see a point to switching all my friends are on different servers anyways so it's not like we're all gonna play together so I'm just gonna stick here so now that that's done we need to meet the high dwarf it uh, who just so happens to be in dark on again we're gonna have to pick up more blinks got a lot of town blink wings but that doesn't really help us right now at least this should take us by the magic shop and then we can just buy some right now there we go and uh, we'll add in fast walkers so we can get going so what I've done as far as stats is I've just gone pure dexterity and I don't know how that's gonna change as a ranger if I'm gonna keep going pure dexterity or if I'm gonna put a bit in the stamina to get some stamina so I can you know be better at AoE I guess it depends on the skills and whatnot but uh, for now, I'm going to at least stay dexterity. Uh, I got a restat, so worst case, we're good. Um, next, we got to go kill pranksters. Awesome. Back to St. Morning. <laughs> and uh, we'll get books from that. And then we can meet the Ranger Priest, who is in Darkon 3. Uh, you can see Apex Healers over at Vanel. 
which I think is something we still have to kill. At least we should be able to, you know, AOE the pranksters. Super easy. I hope so. If not, I've royally messed up this character. And pranksters. Here we go. Uh, we need to do uh, kill eight of them. I don't know if the books are going to drop one to one or what. But um, we'll, uh, we'll just take on a few, I guess. Whoa, what is what is going on? We weren't even up here. That's not even rubber banding. That's just shooting. <laughs> Alright, let's find out. Uh, it seems close enough to one-to-one -to -one that it didn't matter. And then we gotta go to Dark On 3. So, back to Dark On. Yay! <laughs> I don't like how much back and forth there is. And like, like making us come out to kill pranksters, like, we're level 60, you know, it's not a challenge to kill pranksters, it's, it's just like a tedious thing, like, hey, go do this, it might at the most be like a knowledge test thing, like, do you remember where pranksters are, but then again, you can also just like click it and it shows you where they are, so I, I don't know why it makes you go to the pranksters and then, Maybe it's a quest line thing, like if you actually read the story, it explains it a lot better. I don't know, but we're in for a long flight here. <laughs> alright, alright, here we are. Ranger Priest. I don't think I've ever actually visited the Ranger Priest. Like, ever. Because, like... I've played a lot of private servers and like an original fliff I think I went mostly with tanks and blades and stuff like like knights and blades I don't think I ever went ranger uh Vanel, perfect perfect our, our assist is already there waiting for us to eagerly get to the Vanel right there uh it's there so there's no competition for it because uh no one's killing it right now which is sweet I remember that would be a problem too in the in the original. You'd show up to like you're super stoked to like finally get your 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 job change. You show up, someone just killed it, and you're like stuck there waiting 15, 20 minutes for it to respawn. <laughs> I'd always server hop, but good luck. Ah, oh, the good old days. I don't think they drop the spawn rate of monsters either because I, I know originally when it launched they had to like double the amount because like everyone is fighting so much for certain monsters and then uh, they they doubled it but now that they they have global on uh, I don't think they actually reduced how many monsters spawn, which is super cool for the AoE community, like whoever's AoEing out there, we're just gonna get some, some buffs going on, we'll get perfect block, um, and then we'll heal, my assist is rocking full flurry, which adds the DCT of 20% and the MP decrease of also 20%. Uh, the stick is still like a level 15 stick just because I'm waiting for something good. I, I gotta find it or like find it in a, in a store or something. But uh, I'm, it's, it's not a huge issue right now because it's not like I'm able to heal myself while I'm AoEing from it. So honestly Apex Healer doesn't do a whole lot of healing. When I'm 1v1ing, sure, but when I'm AoE, it, it just doesn't doesn't help. The buffs are basically all it does. Well, that wasn't too hard. I mean, it hits like a truck, but <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Cool, we got everything we need. Let's, uh... Let's head to Kale Reared, and we can finally complete this job change, unless they added something after this, like go kill Clockworks or something. That would be terrible. There's no way we're going to be able to kill Clockworks. Not at this level. I, I can't even... I, I don't even know. Uh, that's one of these guys. 
which uh, honestly this is probably the coolest area in the game and i wish it was more utilized like there's no monsters down here you only visit once like i i really wish it was more utilized this place is super cool what is apex healer doing <laughs> just flew right by all right didn't know didn't know she was actually flying uh, okay let's let's do this Congratulations, young acrobat. I've heard many great things about you. Oh, wait, we should do like a, a, a lady voice. Congratulations, young acrobat. I've heard many. <laughs> the final test. You will now become a successor of the ranger. Uh, follow the path. We did it. We did it. We need to celebrate. We have more fireworks. Let's go. Let's go. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Okay, did that reset our stat? It did! We have the ability to decide again what we're gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna go full dex, a bit of stamina, a bit of dex, I don't know. What do our skills look like? Okay, we got poison arrow, which I believe is AoE. Shoots a deadly arrow full of poison at the target. No, it is not. Uh, and flame arrow gives fire element to arrows and surround arrows and damages surrounding enemies. That is awesome. So we did get another AOE skill, uh, and these didn't reset, which is fine because I would have put them in the exact same ones. Uh, and then there's ice arrow, which slows an enemy down by shooting it with co arrows covered in ice. Um. I thought this was an AoE, but it doesn't seem to be. That would be awesome if it was. Probably a little overpowered though. Because then we can just like AoE with Ice Arrow, slow them down up to 17%, and then just nuke them with Flame Arrow. Um, and then uh, what else? What else do we got? We got a Critical Shot. Something I'm not going to use increases critical hit for a limited time, but is it an attack? Or no, critical shot is not an attack. That is a buff. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to get ice arrow anyways. Uh, piercing arrow. Uh, not something we're gonna use probably. And uh, nature heightens the user senses with nature to increase magic defense and bow range. Yes, we're gonna use that. And silent arrow attacks the enemy and prevents them from casting spells. Maybe if we do boss hunting. I don't know, but we finally did it. We're finally a ranger. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for my build, let me know. And um, yeah, that would be awesome. Sweet. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.